Welcome back. This is Vault Love. Or how to make ambient industrial noise with vSphere Rack and Vault Premium modules. Yesterday I made a patch and an accompanying video in which I was trying out Vault's new Nourage dual low pass gate filter module and I used Noxius as the uh, oscillator to generate the sound. Initially I used the uh, Turing machine to generate pitch uh, CV but today I saw a video from uh, Jim F called Ambient Vault Melody in which he used the new blank from Vault, the 3 HP blank as um, a pitch CV generator because it's not really a blank it's actually more like an LFO as we will see when we open our patch in the bottom corner we have the full scope from JW and this is drawing the output from our vault 3HP blank and this is drawing the vault logo And when I saw GMF's video, I thought, hey, that's neat. I should have used that in my patch, uh, which I call Metal Birds of Prey. And I thought, well, let's try it. So I did. And I replaced the Turing machine with this 3HP blank from Vault. I used the Vault Free one here, but I believe it's the exact same as in the Vault Premium package. And then I replaced some of the other modules I used with Vault modules as well, such as uh, the attenuators and offsets. I replaced them with this Flux Quad Voltage Processor module, which um, even has some kind of slew limiter thingy. Uh, it only has one rate knob here, so you can't set the slew differently for both sizes, sides, but it works, and it works really well. I also replaced the uh, 2 HP AD envelope from Nisti with Slap, which is, as you can see, much bigger, but also has uh, it's an ADSR, not just an AD envelope. So it does a bit more. But it gets, gets us the same effect. Uh, what we're hearing now is just um, a drone, basically, because we haven't put our clock in motion yet. So what we're hearing is the output of Nuraj. I'm assuming this has the French pronunciation. And uh, that is going into a retardo, our looping delay, which is obviously pretty heavily modulated, like almost everything else. Uh, and that is then sent into Plateau, our lovely, lovely reverb. Uh, which goes into the master here. Although, we hardly need it. I could just send this straight to the limiter probably because I've turned this up quite a bit. And that goes into our audio module which is uh, off screen. And I have also started using the new wire manager from Submarine Utilities which is in beta. And, uh, and a module browser, but that can go off screen as we don't need those anymore. 
The sound is generated by Noxius. I have two of them, one for the left channel, one for the right channel. And they go through flame for some added distortion. Uh, one that I didn't use yesterday. It, the patch from yesterday went straight from Noxius to Nourage to Retardo. But um, I thought we'd add some more noise. And this is already pretty noisy, but let's start the clock. And from the clock, it goes to Micrograph, which is the compact topograph module which generates rhythm and we're actually only using the output from one of the three channels to drive the gate of burst from Ableson's modules which I am actually working on uh, re-releasing and getting into the plugin manager with a um, redesign from Pierre, from uh, Geodesics fame. So stay tuned for that. So, um, Micrograph generates triggers for burst and that then generates gate signals for our envelope as well as flux, although flux only uses that for the upper channel here uh, as a sample and hold, which goes into our quantizer. And this gets its pitch CV information from, as I said, volts 3HP blank. So, this is sending a CV to Flux, which uh, applies some range and offset to it. And then when it gets a trigger from burst, it samples that voltage and sends it to our quantizer, which is set to E Mixolydian. Then our quantizer sends it to both Noxious modules. One for the left, one for the right channel, and they're both set slightly differently, and then modulated independently. They also get gate output from uh, our envelope here. So slap gets the, uh, the gate trigger from burst as well, applies the envelope, which is sent to both Noxis modules and Nuage as well. So all this modulation comes from two Kaudal modules, one set slower, with less energy and one with higher speeds and higher energy. And that way we get a lot of variation in the modulation. Another modulation signal comes from Kaudal and has a limited range that is then used for the feedback. We don't want the feedback to go full on on retardo. Although we're pretty noisy now, so you might as well go full on, try that out. And it's also sent to modulate the fill parameter on our rhythm generation. Third flux, ch flux channel takes us input here. As you see, this is brown thanks to the um, wire manager from Submarine. 
and what was I talking about? This one. This has uh, some slow limiting as well as a limited range to drive the modulation on the low pass high pass filter in retardo as well as the map parameter in micrograph. And the final flux channel gets its input from this cardal module again with a limited range sending it to the chaos parameter here and to the attack on our envelope. So we get a lot of variation in the attack as well as on the release which comes straight from Cardal here. The range of the signals here is limited because we don't want the attack to go full on and become very slow. Just uh, some modulation variation on this part of uh, the range. I have also modulated the range a bit and the offset a bit on our pitch CV information here. So we get some variation in the pitches sent to our oscillators. And uh, that is basically the patch walkthrough. So how to make noise in VCV rack with Vault Premium modules. Noxius is very, very nice for that. And so turn up the boost here, the overtone, some feedback, and here the chaos. And of course, everything was well, as much as possible heavily modulated. Then, I must add, what you're hearing is not just VSV rack. I process the sound in Reaper for some dynamics control. There's some compression, some transient. Uh, control there and uh, most importantly stereo widening from uh, air windows stereo effects somebody should bring the air windows plugins which are open source at least a number of them to vcv rack wouldn't that be wonderful anyway i hope you uh, enjoyed the noise and uh, good luck with making your own noisy patches.